Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this workshop session and thank you uh, the, uh, for inviting me to this talk. In this um, talk, I'm going to introduce our project named Recognizing Objects from Any View with Object and Viewer Center Representations. Uh, the authors include myself, Sana Liu, Vincent, uh, Isaac, and our, our advisor, Joe and Tu. They come from UCSD and the funding comes from NSF. The problem we are trying to solve is how can we recognize object instances from any unseen viewpoint with limited view information. Given that unseen viewpoint may have different appearances and using limited single view information during training may not provide enough object center information. To answer the question, David Mar has an influential proposal that is to represent the special relationships among the parts of the object with respect to an object center coordinate system. In the cognitive science community, researchers have studied recognitions in the cortex of monkeys. Um, they have found that there are neurons that become tuned to different object aspects and each showing a certain degree of invariance to image transformations. Here we consider these neurons are relatively biovariant. At the same time, in computational uh, vision, we also propose, uh, they also propose that a network scheme that can approximate the function mapping from any viewpoint to a standard view can recognize object on which it was trained on from any viewpoint. Later, uh, Tar Vaughan and Hayward have summarized that there are two classes of theories, one that assumes that specific invariant cues to an object identity can be recovered under almost all viewing conditions, hence can provide sufficient information for object recognition. The other assumes that invariant cues do not exist. Object features are recognized on specific viewing parameters. Novel view is recognized through matching and interpolation of a set of view-dependent features. There are also works that support the idea that recognition is achieved through both, both approaches and both hypotheses can coexist in our neurons. Here, the images illustrate some earlier work from the machine learning community that are inspired by the two theories respectively. In the computer vision community, single view recognition has been dominated by convolutional neural networks, which can be considered as a viewer center approach. At the same time, single view reconstruction is becoming a hot topic. She and Tanatranko have classified them into two categories based on their output coordinate system. If a network of 3D shapes with canonical coordinate system, it tends to learn an average shape of each category. On the other hand, learning a final shape in the viewer center coordinate system tends to generalize better against unseen classes. Among these works, genre is one unique example that focuses on generalization on unseen class reconstructions. This network separate the steps in a similar set of stages proposed by Mar. The fact that the genre enables reconstruction on unseen classes having given, uh, have given us a necessary tool to reconstruct an object center recognition system without prior knowledge of the 3D shapes of that category. Additionally, in the field of 3D object recognition, different 3D data representations have been widely explored. Earlier studies focus on volumetric representations. Although it does not explicitly design any view invariant features, the classification and retrieval results have outperformed some of the rotation invariant features, such as spherical harmonic features. Later, PointNet has used uh, symmetry functions to uh, aggregate information from each point, and achieve invariant to the order ordering of the points and achieve better results in 3D recognition. Multi-view images are also explored as a representation of the input images. Multi-view convolutional network pulls CNN features from different views to perform classification. ED views are used during test time to capture as much 3D information as possible. Rotation net um, trains a convolutional network using a fixed number of images obtained by rotating the object in specific predetermined order. 
By predicting posts as a latent fact, uh, feature, the network can predict both categorical and post information given a single image. The classification result outperforms multi-view CNN. Spherical maps have also ex been explored as a 3D representation. Spherical CNNs first obtain a spherical map by shooting rays from the surface of the sphere to the surface of the object, which offers a distance value for a point on the corresponding spherical coordinate. Then it uses convolutions directly on a spherical harmonic domain, which keeps 3D rotation equivariance of the spherical signals. Empirically, it demonstrates a certain level of rotation invariant properties as well. In our final model, we use spherical CNs for our object center branch, given that it's the only model that is 3D based, demonstrates rotation invariance, and uh, contains no view alignment during evaluation. Uh, hence, we consider it closer to an object center recognition approach, whereas we consider multi view approaches closer to a viewer center recognition approach. Thanks to all the previous development in all three domains, we believe this is the best time to introduce a network that utilizes both viewer-centered and object-centered representations from a single view for any view recognition. Currently in our standard uh, convolutional ne neural networks, if we take a photo from a large variations of viewpoints and only train a standard net resna from a single viewpoint, the network will become view-tuned and only showing a limited degree of variance, variance to the image transformations. This shows us that the standard convolutional neural networks learn view variant features. As a demonstration here, the green box is a trained viewpoint, whereas the colors shows the test accuracy on other viewpoints. In our work, we introduce both object-centered and viewer-centered representation. Here, by object-centered representations, we mean view invariant features. To learn such features, network should consider a certain degree of 3D information, it can, should be able to achieve a certain degree of rotation invariant, and construct, uh, in contrast with view center theory, it does not require any post alignment. On the other hand, view centered representation depends on 2D view dependent features for recognition, such as matching. Our network structure is quite straightforward. It contains three branches, which take his, takes care of the 2D center features, the 3D view center features, and 3D object center features, respectively. The first branch of our network first reconstructs a 3D object from a single 2D uh, input. Then it transforms the 3D shape into spherical maps and outputs a set of prediction logics. The rest of the network struct, uh, structure provides 3D and 2D view variance features through both 3D and 2D augmentations. The top branch shown here also takes the runner output, but instead of using a 3D reconstruction as input, we took multi views of that reconstruction, then sent it to a network. The bottom branch is our standard ResNet with 2D view augmentation. There, do, there are two fusion parts that combine the viewer center and object center representations. To fuse the three branches, we have explored three options, including attention, um, fully connect layer, and the weighted sum from a grid search based on validation set. To further integrate the viewer center object center features, we have created an assistance branch that takes viewer cent uh, dependent features from a 3D viewer center branch and construct a new type of spherical map with viewer center features to assist object center learning. For evaluation metrics inspired by cognitive science community, we create our training set by randomly selecting one view per object instance, then we one view per object instance. Then we introduce two set, uh, test sets. The first test set includes the rest of the views of the same object instance used for training. This set is designed to evaluate the generalization of the network against the other views of the same object instance. The second test set will be all views from a ob uh, new object instance. This set is designed to evaluate the generalizability of the network against the unseen views of the novel instances. 
For the first branch, we have evaluated different network structures that are commonly used for 3D recognition tasks. Note that the input shape is only a partial estimation, and it's not perfect. We show that our OC branch outperforms other baselines by a large margin on the MIRO dataset. For the second branch, we have evaluated against other common multi-view networks, where the multi-view are taken based on approximated 3D shape as well. We show that our simpler viewer center branch works better than other baselines. For the bottom branch, we have also performed different rotation augmentations on both MIRO dataset as well as our in-house dataset MIPO, which is about 10 times bigger than a MIRO multi-view dataset. We show here that as the variations of rotation angles increase, the test accuracy plateaus due to the image transformation invariance from the ResNet. Once we have all three branches, we perform an ablation study indicates the fusion results from different combinations of branches. The same uh, scale on the right uh, will be used for both MIRO and MIBO dataset. We show that on both datasets, the fusion of three branches scores the highest in both metrics, which is the most overlapped area in the Venn diagram. Admittedly, the different viewpoints from the same object instance may share similar color and patterns, as the same instance accuracy is normally a bit higher, indicating the generalizability towards other views of the same object instance is better than a generalization on novel object instance, which is expected. We can observe that the same trend in the larger data set. Notice that the generalizability towards novel object instances is more in, uh, increases as more instances are introduced to the training set. In summary, our OVC net outperforms other baselines for unseen views from both seen and unseen object instances on both small and larger data sets. The network can also be easily adopted for natural images. We train the network on natural images subset from Pascal dataset. We show that by combining both viewer-centered and object-centered representations, our combined model outperforms any of the single branch baselines, as is shown in yellow in the right bottom figure. To summarize, we study the problem of any view recognition by creating two new types of evaluation sets. Our OVC uh, that contains three branches, is each spe is specializing in either object center or viewer center learning. We developed a new network structure with communicating pathways between object center and viewer center learning, and we provide a new multi-view dataset generated for, from shape net models. Admittedly, currently the network cannot work on occluded natural objects, which can be explored through a model prediction in the future, and we hope our work as a, a straightforward baseline can encourage more integration and end-to-end -end network structure to be explored towards this direction. I look, I'd like to thank uh, Vincent and Isaac for their hard work on this project. Thank our advisor, Joan, too, for the guidance and NSF for the funding opportunity. I would also like to thank the organizers for this opportunity to present our work in this workshop. Thank you all for being here. Any questions so far? That'll be the end of my presentation. <laughs>